With student athletes now returning to school for workouts and for practices, more and more are testing positive for the virus. Today, we got word that SMU announced five student athletes have COVID-19. As Aaron Jones reports tonight, all are having to weigh if it is worth the risk. From spaced out strength and conditioning sessions oh, oh, I take it. Oh, I take it. Oh. to wearing masks during practices. A lot of concerns. Parents are afraid. Kids are afraid. Coaches are afraid. No one knows what to expect. You went up too high. That's too easy. The competitive girls basketball organization DFW Elite is just starting their summer season. Got the ball. You got the ball. You got the ball. And head now coach Richard Cummings says some parents are choosing to keep their kids at home. We had parents, you know, sending messages. Messages every day. When you look at these numbers, then the numbers are growing. The numbers are growing. So we all know the numbers are growing. So we just have to try to stay as safe as we can. But he says this year some of the typical summer drills are just not worth the risk. We just try to keep them as far apart as we can. Of course, you know when the game start, they're gonna touch each other. So that was a concern from the parents. Finish that. Their first game is Saturday. Across North Texas, a growing number of student athletes are testing positive for COVID-19. UIL schools were allowed to start summer strength and conditioning sessions on June 8th. And since then, Arlington ISD's Martin High School, Carroll ISD's Carroll Senior High School, Denton ISD's Braswell High School, Frisco ISD's Lebanon Trail High School, and Crum High School have all reported a positive case despite following UIL safety requirements, which include making the workouts optional, providing hand sanitizer or hand washing stations, keeping locker rooms and shower facilities closed, requiring athletes to be fully dressed for workouts, and doing a deep cleaning at the end of each day. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. We can tell you also, in addition to the rules that are set by the UIL, schools do have to follow all the local and the state guidelines as well. The UIL does stress that schools don't have to hold workouts and they can't require athletes to participate. The UIL suggests virtual workouts if it works, training if possible for student athletes that way.